tired of paying for expensive streaming services and listening always the same things? Let's discover Funk Whale, a free open source decentralized audio streaming platform. It's ideal for three different scenarios. For music lovers, you can discover content shared in the decentralized network for free. For artists and podcasters, you publish your music and podcast and it's discoverable on the federated network by other music lovers. And for your personal music collection, you upload it to your Funkwell instance and you have access to it from your web browser or one of the compatible apps for iOS and Android. Before exploring Funk Whale and discovering its features, let's see the different options to start using it. You can use Funk Whale by signing up to any Funk Whale existing pod with open registrations. If you prefer to deploy it on your server, you can self-host it by following one of their installation guides. Or you can use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy the self-hosted version on the cloud provider of your choice or your server, while we take care of the installation, backups, updates and maintenance for you. To start using Funk Whale on our platform, head to ls.io and click on login. Then deploy my first service, search for Funk Whale and then select. You have the choice between different cloud providers, even the last option is bring your own VM. I will keep Hetzner, choose your region based on your location and your user's location and then the service plan. Once you are ready, click on next. Adjust the final settings, choose between the different level of support, the first one is free and included by default, and once everything is configured, click on create service. Once the installation is finished and your instance is ready, you will receive this email. Follow the click here to get the password link. You will arrive on LSTO administration dashboard for your Funkwell instance. Click here to copy the password to your clipboard and access your instance by following this link. You arrive on your newly created instance of Funk Whale. The part on the right is customizable and let's connect. So the default login we have is administrator and the password we paste it and login. Currently our instance is completely empty so we need to add some music. To do this it's pretty simple. On the top left you have this button and it provides three different ways to add content to your Funkwell instance. But just before, you can see that we have one gigabyte of storage per user. We will see later, but it's a setting we can adjust in the instance settings. So the first option, if you want to add content, is publish your work in a channel. This one is for people that are content creators. If you create music, if you create podcasts, this is the place where you will upload your creation. If we click on get started, then we create our channel, add new, and you have the choice if you want to host podcasts or artist discography. This is what you would use to be discovered by all the different instants in the federated network. Because I'm not an artist anymore, we will skip this option and see the two other ones. The second option is for people who have a collection of purchased music, they have it on their desktop and they are looking for a place to store it and play it anywhere on any of their laptop or mobile devices. This is the way to go. So let's do this. Get started. You name your library. Let's name it Elestio Music. You can add a description. Adjust it based if you want only you to have access to it, if it's your private collection and you don't have the rights to share it to everyone in the world, or if it's royalty free content that you can host and share to anyone. Based on that, you would adjust the visibility. So either nobody except me or everyone on this instance, for example, with your friends, your company, or your family. And the last one, everyone across all instances. For this one, be sure that you have the right of the content that you are providing. If not, it's completely illegal. So let's keep nobody except me and let's create the library. Based on the way you organize your libraries, it can contain multiple artists, albums, or only one. For this one, I will upload an album that I have on my desktop. So currently, on this instance, we are allowed per user to have one gigabyte. So currently, I still have everything. I didn't upload anything. Let's upload my album. I have the audio files of an album I purchased about Demon Slayer. I will drag and drop all the MP3 files. And now you can see it's uploading. And in real time, the storage is decreasing here 
based on the size of my different files. A few are already uploaded and the rest is in treatment right now. While it's uploading, you can see that on the right, it is processing the different files. If I reload, you can see the list and it will detect the artist name, the album. Once everything is uploaded, we can simply go either to artist, so it will find the right artist, to album, so I only uploaded a full album, so you can open it. And you have the list of all the track. If you click on one, you will have the player opening. Now we have the music correctly playing, but we are not here for listening to music. So let's pause it and dive into the different features. So the player is kind of classic. You can play, pause, skip, add to favorite and create playlists from the different tracks. But the magic of Funk Whale doesn't reside there. Here, if we go to the third option, it is follow remote libraries. Let's get started. And from here, we can type the URL of any Funk Whale instance, and we will be able to play the different songs through the federated network. But first, to be able to do it, we need to find other instances and other libraries. To find them, it's pretty easy. Go to the official website, scroll down, and you will find something named join an existing pod. Click on find a pod, and from here, you will have a list of public instances of Funk Whale. You have the number of accounts, the number of hours of music available, and the most important, if they are open to registrations or not. Because the instance can be public, which means you can listen to music directly on there, but you won't be able to create your account, unless it is open to registration. If it's not, you would need an invitation code. Go to different one to find the one that you like. I have chosen the funky boy. I already have created my account, but you can see that this page here is different. They customized it. We'll see later in the settings how to do it. Why we came to another instance is to find some other songs to import them into our instance. What we can do is explore and for example, click on browse. You have the content split between recently listened, recently favorited and different playlists. Let's listen to any music in the favorited. And like it did on our server, we can play the different music. And when you find music that you like, click on the three dots and track details. We'll have a bunch of information about the track, but what interests us is to find the libraries, so related libraries, and it's on Maya's music dump. You just have to click on the sharing link, copy it, then if you go back to the upload and follow remote libraries, now on remote libraries, you paste the URL and you search for it. Then you can follow it and you will have access to it inside your library. Once you have followed every libraries that interest you, uploaded all your content, you don't want to always listen to it in your web browser. You want to listen to it on your TV or you want to listen it when you are on the go on your mobile. To do this, Funk Whale provides different applications compatible with Android, so either the official one or third-party applications that respect the protocol used by Funk Whale. Those are the one for Android and these are the one for Apple. Simply go to the App Store, search for one of the app, just try instead of what I did to type the name correctly and download either Amplify or one of the other. Open it type your instance URL, username and password and you will have access to the content of your instance inside your mobile app. Then if your goal is to create a community open to the public or even just a close group with your friends or family, go to the settings, go to administration and settings and from here you can edit all the different settings that you will see when you go inside about this pod. Currently it's the very minimum one. Let's go back to it. And from there, you can decide if people can sign up or not. So is it open to registrations or only with invitations? By default, it's closed. So if you keep it closed, what you will need to do is to go to users, then invitations, and to create invitation for the people you want to join you on your instance. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering Funk Whale with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. 
if you want to continue your open source journey. Watch this video, available here.